Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today I have a little video it's just gonna be a shorty um, I have an IBM server down here it's a 3950 and it's kind of the model one it's kind of it's, the, this series is weird because the one after this one was called X something I use this server for students at work I work in an IT department and we have like students that are under training and I'm the one responsible for them and um, we have a lot of equipment that they are not supposed to be touching we want to see if the student is, is good before he or she gets to touch our mission critical hardware and stuff like that if they're like decent yeah we just want to make sure that that they don't do a lot of stupid shit and to test out the students or the trainees they get access to this server that I have here and I have like a scen scenario that they go through there are like new employed IT manager in a small company and they have a lot of tasks that they have to do and one of them is to virtualize that old company and they're gonna be doing this on that server maybe this new guy is gonna be doing it on another server because this server is actually not able to do server 2012 R2 but I'm gonna let him figure that out so I need to prepare this server for him to be using this in this coming week and right now it's off because it eats up a lot of power so um, I'm gonna be turning it on and make sure that it's ready for him okay here we are on the back side of the server and I can see that I've unplugged power and stolen the network connection so let's start by putting some power on it how did that cable can become that short? That's weird. Oh, that's why it comes up there. Let's start it that way. Hmm. Okay, let's just plug that in. Right there. And we have another one. Right there. Plug that in there. And there are kind of cable holders to make sure that the cables don't come out by themselves like that so if i pull it it will not come out not as easily anyway um so and i've borrowed the cables on this server up here hmm. wonder how they think that i should be able to get that one out oh that way okay So we have a management cable and we have a network cable. We're just going to be putting in the management cable in the management port. Um, that one is up there. There. And this one goes into the network port. There are two network, two gigabits connections right there. And we need a keyboard and mouse. Where do we have that? Oh, all the way up there. There we are. And that goes down there. Here we are. So, let's see if this server still works. On the front here, it's blinking. This is the old system where you, you could not turn it on. It was like protection. What do we... Oh, we have our magic little thing here. So that will do it. The sweet sound of an IBM 3950. And this, this beast has four CPUs inside. Each of them are dual cores. And I believe this one has 32 gigs of RAM. And it's booting. Okay, this is actually the 3950X3. I forgot about that. So this is third generation. I, as I remember, this takes quite a while. Okay, it's booting now. Let's out to this again. Yeah, there is 32 gigs of RAM, 2.6 gigahertz dual cores, and there are four processors in it. And yes. 
I think even we are on the last BIOS of this server. It's a good old server. I think I actually added some hard drives since the last time I was using this. I do only remember having two hard drives in this server. Now there are five. So let's see what the controller up here comes up with. I remember this one having like oh, 273 gigabyte disks. The RAID controller is mm, checking it out right now. So let's see what it comes up with. Yeah, we're ready out here. And the RAID controller is a server RAID 8i. And we have a RAID 0, 204 gigabyte storage. 204 gigabyte storage, that adds up, yes. In a RAID 0, uh, well, probably. And it should boot ESXi 6.0. Yeah, it's it's booting ESXi 6.0. I'm pretty sure that's it. We can just have a look at it. It will be just a second. Hmm, big surprise. It's actually only 5.5.0. That's, I remember it as being a 6.0. Let's see if the new student can install 6.0 on it. That would be okay. So this is not as important as the remote access. I need to be able to remote access this so I have to go into the computer and make sure that the IMM or this one has an RSA adapter is online so that I can reach it. Otherwise I need to go for a long drive and I'm not really that fond of driving. So here we are at my Windows 10 machine and I want to log into my server. I forgot the the IP number so I will be going into my old documentation here um, and I'm prompted that I forgot to activate my uh, video I'm not gonna do that now it's gonna bother me but well that's just the way I have my server down here uh, my sexy server documentation press that and I can see that I put in a management adapter IP we're gonna borrow that Copy. I already did that, so we're just gonna minimize this. And we're gonna go to this edge thing. I've already logged into the management adapter of the server. And I'm very curious. Uh, now I can get this far, so it's probably all good. It does answer on the management adapter. But I'm curious of if edge can do this. Always allow. Yes, always allow. Let's see what happens. Doesn't look too good right now. Mm. Let's see if this Yava thing... I think I'll just find the control panel and be right back. I did find the control panel, which is now called settings. Uh, but I couldn't find the Yava thing in there, so I'm gonna try this one. Configure Yava. Let's see if this is what it used to be. Oh yeah, security. And we're gonna see if our little... 210 is in there, it's not. So we're gonna edit list and we're gonna add that bottom here. Now we're gonna add H, just gonna turn that off. HTTPS colon slash 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 slash. Add that one. I think we have to log out of this one, so I'm just gonna borrow. Just gonna borrow this. We're gonna log off. Close. Close off. Go in again. There we go. Now we're gonna log in again. Five minutes. Cool. Apparently we are still not working on this edge thing. Okay, but something is answering, so I'm sure I can get this up and running. I know that the students really like being able to reinstall a server from scratch. So I always do this. I prepare a server for them. They can access it through the RSA adapter and they can format it. They can 
make the RAID configuration and they can install ESXi 6.0 or 5.0. I, rem I don't remember if it takes a 6.0, but well. Thank you for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can watch me again and join me over at Google Plus where I occasionally post pictures of what I'm up to. Have a really nice day. Bye bye. Thank you.